Welcome back. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question, visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com. Dr. Shabir, the question is, do Muslim men and women pray differently? Um, yes and no. Mostly yes. Uh, men and women are uh, given the same obligations to pray five times per day. And uh, the Friday prayer is said to be in classical Islamic books to um, be an obligation for men whereas women can pray on their own wherever they happen to, to be, uh, either at home or in the office or whatever, but men are obligated to attend the, the Friday prayer. Um, uh, also, we can add that uh, the daily congregational prayers uh, is uh, thought by some to be obligatory for men to join, uh, whereas women, again, could pray at home or um, in the office, or, or they can come and join the congregational prayer if they choose to do so as, as well. Uh, so, uh, so, so far, you know, even Stephen, right? But uh, when it comes to the postures within prayers, uh, like we, we, our prayers involve standing, bowing, prostrating, and so on. And all of the things that we recite are the same between men and, and women. So the prayer is basically the same. But the postures that we adopt in prayer has been the postures have been interpreted differently, uh, especially in one school of Islamic jurisprudence known as the Hanafi school. Uh, this uh, happens to be one of the widest uh, spread schools in, in Islamic history. Uh, and, and today we have Muslims from uh, India, Pakistan, in Guyana, where I was born, in many parts of the world who are adherents to that particular school of Islamic jurisprudence. This is uh, a line of interpretation dealing with very minor and, and finer points of difference uh, um, as compared with the other schools. Um, uh, so... Some things are very clear in the Quran, very clear in the uh, life example of the Prophet, peace be upon him. So this is universal among all Muslims. Uh, some things are not so clear, they depend on some interpretations, especially finer points. So uh, major schools of Islamic jurisprudence emerge, uh, giving us the details of these finer points. So one of those schools is the Hanafi school. Now, the Hanafi school says that, uh, you know, the women uh, pray differently, adopting uh, some postures in prayer, which will be more in line with the modesty of Muslim women, especially in traditional uh, social contexts. Uh, so, for example, instead of bending over fully as men do, they would bend over like in, 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 in both genuflection and prostration in a way uh, that, uh, you know, uh, maintains that modesty. So instead of bending over fully in genuflection, as men would do, uh, a woman would be required to, according to that school of interpretation, only to bend over so much as would allow her palms to rest on her knees. And then to facilitate that even further, uh, the woman would even bend her knees a little bit. And then when it comes to prostrating on the floor, instead of going uh, all together on all fours, um, uh, with, with the, the rear end being uh, raised, uh, the woman would basically just uh, pro uh, bend over enough so that her uh, chest would rest against her thighs and her head would reach the floor. But basically her body would be quite, um, you know, close to the, uh, to the ground. Mm -hmm. um, so these uh, and other such prescriptions uh, on minor points uh, were, were thought to be a way of preserving the modesty of Muslim women and could come in very useful, of course, if a woman were praying in public as opposed to whether, you know, when she's praying at home or in her, her family setting or, or, or something like this. But some others object to this. Those who object to this would say that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is reported to have said, Sallu kama tumuni usalli, pray as you have seen me praying. And this is a general instruction for both men and women. And uh, with that in mind, uh, women do not have some uh, uh, leeway to pray differently. And they would see this uh, idea that women can adopt slightly different postures in prayer as being uh, a deviant uh, idea, but we could not consider it a deviant idea because this is a, an idea that is in one of the classical schools of Islamic jurisprudence and, and you know, can be traced back to the uh, reported opinions of uh, very early savants in the Islamic uh, tradition. So in a matter like this, Safiya, we need to be flexible and balanced and fair in our judgment. We cannot just simply wipe away the interpretations of a particular classical school of Islamic jurisprudence. We need to find a way of accommodating and appreciating uh, that, that view. And uh, we can say that maybe when the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, gave the instruction, pray as you have seen me praying, 
Uh, it was not meant to be an instruction to copy him in all of the finer details. Um, uh, some of the details uh, may not be as important as people have made them out to be. And when he said, prayers, you've seen me praying, maybe he meant the general outline. And of course, the general outline of the prayer is the same for men and women all, in all of these schools of Islamic interpretation. You have so many different postures in the prayer and in a particular sequence, and this is what you recite in each, uh, in each posture. And that is the same for men and women on, in all of these schools of Islamic uh, interpretation. So basically, we can answer the question by saying, yeah, men and women pray the same way uh, in the Islamic tradition. But of course, there are some salient uh, differences on, on minor points. Thank you for sharing that, Akshibir. You're welcome. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe. And please donate to support our work at QuranSpeaks.com.